Star Season Alpha 3.19 hit Wave 1 PTU yesterday and um, it's really exciting. What I want to do in this video, I want to go through uh, some of my thoughts on my experience, my first initial experience when I dropped in into the PTU Wave 1 for 3.19 for the very first time. Um, so my my current experience with it right now there's just a few things that i i was able to touch up on with the guys um when i did a live stream last night the first thing that um we did was the salvage contracts so now from what we've done so far the one that we did get was at a lagrange point so i'm not sure if all of them will be at lagrange point but it, it is a bit concerning for me because if you get a salvage contract at a lagrange point pirates can easily find you so um so, so that's going to be something that i'm going to be a little bit concerned about but we'll see so from the understanding is that once you get the salvage contract it you actually have rights to salvage that vehicle that is assigned to you right so um anybody that comes there um it will be illegal for them to salvage that vehicle so um you have to do you do have to um pay up um an investment um, which we did we did that for the hammerhead we invested about 50,000 AUEC and um, we got one hammerhead in return and um, when we arrived on there um, we had to we extracted all the uh, the, the weapons on it um, but we weren't able to get our hands on the components for some reason they weren't working for some reason so uh, maybe that's that's the uh, it was intentional maybe the components aren't enabled on the hammerhead but uh, we managed to extract, I think, all of them, if not all of them, almost all of them, all of the guns. All of them are size four rhinos. And we sold them and we made almost 300,000 AUC on just the guns alone. So just imagine the components of a hammerhead. In addition to that, all of the haul that you can scrap, um, that you can scrape off of that vehicle, is also worth um, hundreds of thousands of AUC. So, um, so just one location, one site, one vehicle, one large vehicle like a hammerhead is worth probably a few million, um, I would assume, worth of uh, AUEC. So it's it's a pretty it's pretty good. I like the fact that uh, there is it's a lot of income potential for it, and it's exciting. Uh, to finally see that in the game. Before we move forward, I'd like to make people to know that we're doing a giveaway for the month of May. This time it's a game package for the 100 i In order to participate, all you gotta do is subscribe and leave a comment in any video between the month of May. All right, so let's move on with the rest of the video. Um, what I also I'm really excited about is uh, what this bring forth is it allow players to be able to build up their ships as they find weapons and components as they move about the first. And it seems like they've removed all the high value um, weapons and components. So um, we'll have to see um, how people um, play uh, in the PU now. So if you do find uh, a military grade, a grade A um, component, people are just are going to be a little bit more careful with their vehicles because they, you can't really buy it in stores now. So it's going to be interesting to see how that is. So when it comes to um, the salvage um, service beacons, right? So service beacons uh, sites are worth more, right? Hammerheads are going to be worth more, um, a lot more money because if you do a, a high level, uh, a high threat service beacon, I think it's one or two hammerheads and a lot um, a few other vehicles. So just imagine all of the haul, all of the components, all of the weapons that you can extract from that. So one of the great things also about the salvage contracts is the fact that you can leave and come back, right? You have the quantum beacon to be able to come back. That's something I always wanted for salvaging or mining. And it's going to be interesting to see how we play now with uh, that in the PU. All right. So up next, um, I had a little bit of um, experience with Burgo 2.0. It was a slideshow for me, so I didn't get to really explore it. Um, but I uh, will be doing that in a, in a future stream so you guys look out for that but the city is vast it's huge the buildings are large you know? and uh, it's uh, it's it's a big update I am really excited to, to finally see it and um, it, but it seems like they need to optimize it a little bit more so as we go through the uh, PTU cycle hopefully it's a little bit better to visit 
last but not least uh, of what we did was um, we went to visit our court and its atmospheric uh, um, it's it's volumetric atmosphere and clouds it, it was just beautiful our court looks a little bit more different now so it's uh it was it was really cool so you can see in this video here um, in the background that we were um, flying around in our court and uh, it was it was uh, it was really cool to finally see volumetric clouds at our court. all right so that's my thoughts on my initial impressions on um, star citizen alpha 3.19 um, I'll be making more videos like this. Make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.